What's up everybody? It's very lucky. Unlucky Ginger. I'm gonna do a quick test today. I am going to test out two lures on some largemouth bass and we're gonna see which one actually performs better. Banjo Minner or Yamasinko. Alright, so two lures. One's a worm, one's a swim bait. Alright, both soft plastics, but we're actually gonna test them out and see which one I can actually get more hits on. So I'm gonna do like five or five or six casts with each one, and then we're gonna see which one's gonna catch more fish. Starting off with Banjo Minnow. Last podcast, I had two bites, one swam up next to it, and then just kept on swimming. So, two bites, five casts, no fish. Let me show you what it looks like when they're swimming. I see him swimming right there at the point. Oh, yeah, you can see that. So if I catch one, this counts as seven cast. So it just looks like an injured, dying bait fish. So they come through. So that's the banjo minnow. Minnow. Let me switch it around and let's do the Yamasinko. All right, we're going with a weightless in the middle, wacky worm style hook. Uh, Yamasinko. So, six cast with a green, with chartreuse and purple flake Cinco. Alright, six cast. All about the same area that I was fishing this banjo man. Cast one. In the water. First one, blank. That's two. There goes three. Bent the hook a little bit, yeah. Here to the left of the swim of the weeds. Yeah. 
Here goes one. Oh no, I'm stuck on the tree. Do not like these hooks. Not here to seven. Had a bite. Went to set the hook. <sighs> Bottom snap, right where that knot was. Let me retouch that one more time. Alright, so what I've done is I took the hook that I had the banjo minnow on and I've put it back on and we're going to try that hook with the Cinco. Maybe. I'm going to have to look that up. It may be a spotted bass, but I'm not sure. It's got a tooth patch on his mouth. But anyway, so there we go. Not the fullest, healthiest I've ever seen. A little long. A little weird, but that may be. All right, so I got the sun behind me. So I'm gonna have to check and see with somebody that knows a little bit more. But everything that I read says that largemouth bass says largemouth bass don't have the spotted pattern down the middle like this one does. It's there's no organized spots to it. So this I believe goes to the Every Fish Challenge as our Kentucky spotted bass, and it's got a little tooth patch in the middle of his tongue back here that's a little bit rough. You probably won't be able to see it, but a little tooth patch back there. So I'm going to go ahead and get him back in the water. But that is a Kentucky spotted bass. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, we're out here. Let's see if we can catch another. Try a little bit deeper. Uh, let's try right here. So that first one was definitely a Kentucky spotted bass. So this, as you can see, doesn't have the door, the lines down the middle, all right? The dorsal fin's still fairly similar, but you don't see it's, the lines are all broken up down through here. 
His jaw definitely comes back behind his eyes. Where the other one is a little bit not about to his eyes, but not. And then let me check his tongue. No. Alright, so there's no tooth patch in here on that tongue. So that is a largemouth bass. And that other one we had was a Kentucky spotted bass. So here we go. Let me put this back. All right, welcome back to the very lucky, unlucky ginger outdoor adventures. Every fish challenge. We are trying to catch at least one of every type of fish that you can catch in the state of Kentucky. And today we get to add a very special bass to our list. The Kentucky Spotted Bass. So now we have added the Spotted Bass to the list. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button. Make sure that notification bell is turned on so you get notifications. Every time we get another video that comes out like this, uh, you don't want to miss it. Uh, wait till you see what, what we catch next. All right, later, guys. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode.